Hey there, welcome to this QuickBooks tutorial on uh, reconciling your bank statement in QuickBooks because I know a lot of people uh, do this wrong and I want this QuickBooks tutorial to show you how to do it correctly. My name is Matt Holquist. I'm the CEO of the QuickBooks University. Uh, head over to qbuniversity.org uh, for uh, plenty of full length videos on how to use QuickBooks. All right, so again, I was telling you that a lot of my clients do this incorrectly and a lot of people I meet do this incorrectly. And so in this video, I wanna show you how to reconcile your bank account correctly in QuickBooks. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go over here and share the screen with you so you can see what I'm doing in QuickBooks here. Okay, you should see QuickBooks up on your screen. So what we're gonna do, you, this is the home screen here and what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, there's a couple ways to do this you can go to the banking drop down menu here and go down to um, reconcile or you can click this icon okay so what, we're going to click this icon and a box comes up that shows first of all you're going to choose what account that you want to reconcile we're going to reconcile the checking account the statement date, which should be the statement date on your statement from the bank. The beginning balance, which should match because of your previous reconciliation. And then the ending balance, which is going to be the ending balance on the bank statement. Okay. And if you have any service charges or you earned interest, you're going to enter that here. And you want to make sure that you put in the correct account. All right, we don't have that in this example, so we're going to hit continue. And it's going to bring up another screen here. It's going to have all these transactions. On the left side are checks and payments, and on the right side are deposits and other credits to your account. Okay, so what the first thing that I want you to do is you want to click here where it says hide transactions after the statement's end date. That's going to get rid of all the stuff, all the transactions that happened after November 30th, 2018 in this example. So you're left with uh, all this information. So what you want to do, you want to go down your bank statement and check off. You're going to click and check off which ones have cleared on your bank statement. All right, and now over here, I'm going to go ahead and check off these as well. And we're using a hypothetical uh, example here, but let's say that let me scroll down we're going to check all of these off and one thing I want you to notice here down over here you've got service charge interest earned we didn't have any of those the ending balance which is what we had in the ending balance from the bank statement of 154 113 26 and the cleared balance and then the difference the goal with the reconciliation is you want to get this difference to zero okay. And so when you check things off, what you'll notice here is that that difference goes down, okay? Because we're checking off items that have cleared. So let's continue to check down here to make sure I don't skip any lines. Okay. So we're getting closer. We're at 36,000. Okay. And let's see. We keep checking these off. And we're at zero. Okay. So you see there when there's when there's no difference right there, the zero balance, that means that you have reconciled your account. And everything that you have in QuickBooks has cleared or not cleared. Okay, now let me show you quickly if I uncheck this one and there's a difference and you try to reconcile, QuickBooks is going to say, hey, you have a discrepancy here. What do you want to do? Well, you can return to the reconcile to fix it. You can leave the reconcile and just do it later or you can enter adjustment. I typically tell people don't enter an adjustment. So you want to really return to the reconcile and figure out what it was. Okay, so if we check this off, now we've reconciled. So you're going to click Reconcile Now. And as this goes through, 
uh, it's thinking and it's clearing everything out of the account registers. And it's going to bring up this box that says, okay, do you want to display or print these different reports? What a lot of people do is they'll print the reports and then they will attach it to their bank statement and either scan it in to save it or they'll file it away. For this example, we're going to just close here. And now we have a reconciled bank account. All right. So let me go back over to the screen here. So there's how you reconcile your bank account in QuickBooks 2014. I hope this QuickBooks tutorial helped you out and you learned something here. Again, head on over to uh, qbuniversity.org and we've got a number of QuickBooks tutorial training videos at the site. Thanks for joining me.